Hey Capricorn, what's up? How are you guys? I am so glad you guys are here. Thanks for stopping by. Your girl Miss Maria's missed you guys. So Capricorn, um, yeah, we are like at the end of our year here, 2021, coming on into 2022. So today we are going to uh, just check, check into your energy, see what you guys might be expecting, um, what's uh, coming, you know, for you guys coming into um, the end of December here, you know, mid to end December. So I just want to thank you guys real quick, though. Thank you so much for coming by and supporting me, supporting my channel. Um, I really, really uh, am blessed to have all of you guys. Welcome to any newcomers, um, any cross watchers that are here. You, you guys are so welcome um, to be here. So yeah, let's get into it. I don't want to spend too much time, wasting too much time here just talking. So Spirit Skies Angels, please bring through messages for Capricorn, the lovely Capricorns. So I am using the Priestess of Light Oracle deck. So we're going to be dealing with divine um, energies, uh, twin flame. Um, there's some spirit animals in here. So it's a really cool deck. So I'm going to, you know, grab several cards from this deck. We're going to get some crowning energy for you guys. All right, cat bees. All right. Um, remember, you know, the reading is general, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, don't, you know, take offense to anything that I might say. Um, there's a lot of karmic stuff that uh, all of the zodiac signs are kind of working through right now, so uh, I can get a little fiery about it. Um, just because, you know, when we're talking karmic stuff, sometimes it's like just pure stupidity, so... Um, but, you know, we all have a journey. We all have um, lessons here that we're learning. So um, when we can learn the lesson, you know, then it was all, it's always well worth it. Okay, so we've got shamanic journey, purpose, uh, attunement, vision quest. So, yeah, like many of you guys are on, on like I was just talking about, a journey. Um, you know, figuring out your purpose right now. Summoning power, instinct, intellect, control. So we've got moon energy here. Uh, the number four. We've got, you know, um, two wolves as well. If wolves is uh, s significant to any of you Capricorns out there. Balance, stability, standing firm. Wow. Uh, this is already talking a lot about um, balancing energies, balancing um, you know, get, getting back into your own power, taking your power back. Um, you know, you're, this is like part of your journey is like, maybe some of you guys have actually lost your way recently, uh, over the last year or so. And spirit is really saying right now is the time, you know, to take back your power, uh, to, to get grounded. I've got the divine masculine here. So, you know, there's... We'll see. Maybe this is a relationship. Um, maybe it's a need to balance the the, the masculine and feminine within. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of that going on right now. Again, this is karmic cycles are wrapping up. People are, are waking up. They're realizing their true potential. They're realizing, whoa, I've been in a karmic cycle. Uh, this is like... I don't want to do this anymore. I've realized that this is not, this was not uh, meant for me. And, you know, they're like cleansing, releasing, uh, purifying themselves, uh, leaving anything that no longer serves them, you know, in the past. So, um, interesting. All right. Clairvoyance, inspiration, interpretation, and trust, and then miracles. So ancient wisdom I'm telling you guys. There's a lot of magic happening right now, and I, I mean in a, in a good way. I'm not talking about the bad magic. Um, earth magic. Okay, earth magic. Uh, fearlessness and removing obstacles, as I was saying. Um, you know, all this is, so far, this reading is definitely all about, like, um, bringing balance into your life. I believe that many of you guys might be going through a spiritual awakening. 
Um, it's also, you know, looking like your intuition is really starting to pick up, uh, you know, maybe your, your crown chakra is opening up your third eye, you know, just, um, you're, you know, coming into that, that power. So when we, um, release things that are no longer serving us and we do the spiritual growth that, that we need to, to, you know, do within ourselves, um, once we get through those energies and we start coming out the other side and, um, you know, having some realizations, Hey, you know, that's when your, um, third eye will start to open up. That's when your crown chakra starts to open up. You know, that's, uh, um, you know, clearing out those, uh, chakras, uh, it, it, uh, really brings in a lot of change within. Um, and it helps you to become grounded and brings balance and, and stability um, back in your life. It, it helps you to stand in your own power because now you've realized your own power. So I feel like many of you are kind of going through that. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I've also got grateful optimism. So um, you're getting a, a view of the future. Again, this vision quest here. Um, too many cards here guys and you know things are going to start looking up for you guys because you are um the wings of light and becoming something new you guys are shedding the old and coming into the new so this is like super beautiful energy capricorn okay um you guys i know have been going through it lately wow i got my cards all screwed up here holy cow train wreck train wreck marie um and, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's really beautiful to see that, you know, you're really taking back your power and making some changes in your life. Okay. This wanted to come out earlier, page of swords. So, um, and the queen of swords, it's like someone's either in the queen of swords energy, or you've got a queen of swords who's watching over you. Hmm. Someone from your past. All right, Capricorn, it's like, it's either someone is watching with the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, or the Queen of Swords is watching someone else. And this is a past. It could be regarding children as well, but um, there's been some stuck energy. I'm not really sure. Okay, stuck energy, um, you know, some fighting going on like con major conflicts like someone there's there's like something was left in conflict and someone's regretful about it like it was like someone walked away from something and they they didn't um the energy around that was very conflicting energy there was still fighting um, it ended in a fight and someone's regretful about that. Someone's, you know, very regretful and they want to put the, the burdens behind them. They want to, um, you know, maybe bring some resolution to the situation here, Capricorn. Um, you know, so it's, uh, and this could be in love. It could be in any kind of relationship because I'm not seeing anything to, you know, specify, um, a romantic partnership. This could be any relationship. Maybe it's even about your children. Maybe you had some sort of conflicts with, with your children in the past and, and there's some regrets around it. There's, you know, there was fighting, there was, um, uh, a misunderstanding. And I definitely am getting though past because, um, the seven of pentacles is all about like seeds you've planted in the past. Right. But in this deck, like the basket is empty. The, the, the pentacles are here on the tree and they're ready to be, you know, pruned or picked. The ladder is there, but this person is, you know, standing, they're just standing there with their basket empty. So, you know, maybe it's, uh, it's time now it's um time you know to bring some sort of resolution like i keep talking about a resolution um yeah so you know death the death card is here 
Um, what I'm really feeling more so is that this is about a transformation, not a death of something, um, but endings that lead, you know, to new beginnings, endings that um, lead to like a, a resurrection or a transformation in something. And that's really more of what I'm getting here is that you guys, there might be some sort of uh, transformation that will be taking place or has begun to take place for you. Yep, here with the strength card was like someone needed to have strength or someone needs to have strength maybe to bring that resolution forward. So this is for a lot of my Capricorns out there, you know, um, if this isn't, if this isn't you um, and it's someone around you or someone that you were dealing with in the past, uh, like I said, this can be, okay, so we've got karmic wheel, the karma, the wheel of, uh, karma is here so it's either you know that the wheel is turning in your favor or that this was a karmic um situation or or maybe uh you know you you were dealing with the karmic or you got yourself stuck in a karmic cycle there's a lot of that happening so ace of cups and uh the the nine of coins so this was someone's wish fulfillment with the ace of cups and the nine of cups i'm sorry i believe i said coins but um you know the other thing is that this could be the nine of cups is my drinking card so it could be you know uh there's some karma going on for like too much oh, like overindulgence something of that nature but we definitely have a single, the single female here, nine of pentacles. So this is the single female of the deck. Um, I do have a divine masculine here in uh, this deck here. So, you know, did you guys, I don't know, did you walk away from your divine feminine? Did you, is this divine feminine? I mean, cause the, Queen of Swords is also a single. She's like the single queen. She's a divorcee. Um, this chick's been through it, okay? And it doesn't have to be man, female, whatever. Gender is meaningless in, in tarot. It's it's energy. So feminine or masculine energy. We all are, are made up of both. So, but I almost feel like they're one and the same. So it's like you, this divine masculine was dealing with they had their their divine their feminine someone had to make a judgment call here and i feel as though wow yeah they chose to be, they were choosing between two there's more than one feminine here okay we've got a lot of feminine energy all about this divine masculine um we're either we're talking about you know this is past energy so i feel like in the past for you capricorn someone you, the divine masculine um was dealing with other with others and and i i almost feel like this is you know third party situations here there's karma this is what i'm i'm feeling right now for um for someone here we've got you know the the this is the queen of wands fire sign um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so it's almost like, you know, maybe you were dealing, there was an ending to a relationship here with the Queen of Swords. Um, the Queen of Swords became single. And I feel like, you know, maybe this masculine decided to deal with this fire energy. Um, or maybe the masculine is making a decision to no longer deal with this fire energy. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, feminine energy here. Um, please clarify, because someone's making a judgment. Either that or the, the Queen of Wands is tower moment here. The Queen of Wands might be walking away from... The Queen of Wands... Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, and Justice... Huh. Okay. The funny thing here is that, like, I'm not seeing the only masculine I'm seeing right now is the divine masculine. So, 
Mystified Masculine here has a lot going on. Okay, so if this isn't you, Capricorn, if you're not the masculine, um, that's, you know, just reverse it, flip it, put that energy where you feel best, right? But I am just saying that this is a big, huge lesson here. So this masculine was dealing with, yeah, different people for sure. Um, the bottom of the deck is the three of cups, which is third parties. So there was a lot of people involved in this situation, but I feel like there's an ending coming very, very soon with whomever it is that they've been dealing with because they've realized here that, that someone is, and if, if it's not the masculine, it's the feminine energy involved, the main feminine energy. Um, this Queen of Swords, who is, I believe, the single person here, I do believe that they are the divine feminine energy in the situation. There was an ending. Um, either the divine feminine walked away or the masculine. Either way, but someone walked away. I do believe it's due to third party situation. But I do think that the masculine has been dealing with this fire energy here, this um, Queen of Wands. And I've got to be honest, no offense to any Queen of Wands out there, but karmic Queen of Wands are like, they're, they, this person, what I'm feeling and what my guides are telling me is a nasty karmic, okay? Um, this person is not they've been manipulating the masculine. They manipulated the masculine into and turned the masculine against the divine feminine. Uh, they poisoned their mind. They poisoned, they, you know, put them in a, in a state of confusion, entrapment. But I think that, yeah, um, this person is uh, walking away. They're going to be walking away from Either, either the Queen of Wands here is walking away from the, you know, the, the masculine or, oh, here's the King of Wands. So now we have a, a couple. This is being put down. This is going bye-bye. Why is it going bye-bye? Because of the King of Cups. Yeah, so I'm, okay, this is crystal clear to me now. Capricorns, for those of you that are in separation with your uh, divine counterpart, masculine or feminine, okay? Um, there was a walking away, there was an ending, there's been a separation, and this has been, it's been a minute now, okay? Um, what's happened here is whoever they went to, this karmic queen of wands, did the same thing to the divine the masculine that the masculine did to the divine feminine so you reap what you sow like i mean i can't it doesn't get any clearer right this feminine was also dealing with an, a king of cups what else what else spirit oh yeah it's all about money this is like all the signs are dealing with this so and the reason for this, you guys, you probably on YouTube are noticing that there's a lot of this for all the readers. It doesn't matter what you're watching, what reader, what sign. It's all very similar right now. And it has to do with the karmic wheel. And it has to do with astrology and the planets and just where we are right now, right now um, astrologically and, and where where the planets are positioned we've got venus in retrograde so it's either like right now happening or in the next few days venus goes in retrograde and which is all venus is all about love so i'm not at all surprised that any of these relationships any of these types of things that happen in the past of course it's like a mercury retrograde right where um those things are going to resurface um, so everybody gets to deal with all of this stuff again, right? So get ready because it's uh, get about to get fiery. All right, guys. So let's see. Um, yeah, this is like literally a nightmare. This this karmic person that the uh, divine masculine went to, you know, 
has been nothing but a damn headache for the your your masculine counterpart for your divine masculine um yeah i'm surprised we don't have the empress here yet but i'm just saying i think that you know you're in the queen of swords energy the empress is right now because of what happened you know um yes this backstabbing because they were hurt real real bad um and now the same thing's being done to the masculine the masculine's wanting though they're like starting to realize just how toxic this person is like i am picking up that they have um maybe mental issues that they um mental health issues and, and i don't mean that you know negatively towards anyone um but you know there's a lot of mind games there's a lot of manipulation this person was after your person's money they saw them as a um they saw them as as wealth they saw them as like someone like this person isn't working they don't have a job um they don't want to work they don't like to work they want someone here's the empress hi empress as I was just saying, they want someone else to take care of them. They do. They want someone else to take care of them. So we've got a single empress who, um, you know, got forced into the queen of wands. I'm sorry, queen of swords energy. It became single and the whole time. She was the empress. This masculine went to the nasty ass karmic. I'm sorry, karmics. I'm not I'm not meaning, you know, to, to complain and put down the karmic. You're doing your karmic duty. But, you know, karmics out there, just know that, you know, we can all be a karmic at one point or, or another, right? Um, it's uh, learning the karmic lesson. So the lesson here in this situation is, like, stop trying to hold on to something that's not actually meant for you. This person doesn't belong to you. They never did. Uh, they were actually in a um, divine connection that was orchestrated long before you ever met this person. It was orchestrated. Um, th this is a twin flame connection, the divine masculine, divine feminine. I, I already know this. And, you know, you um, interfered. And so that's why the karmic wheel is here. Uh, you know, you, you need to learn your karmic lesson. You need to let this person go. They're not yours. They're not meant for you. There's someone else in the world that's actually meant for you, but you need to learn your lessons. So when you don't, you know, that's when, um, things, yeah, this, this Leo energy, there's this fire energy, um, stubbornness, uh, ego. I mean, it's time to get over it. Let it go. This person isn't yours. You're being a fool. You're being a fool, Karmix. I know you're here listening. I know you're watching. Um, you know, you deserve better. This is not the relationship for you. Um, it never was. It was a lesson to be learned. You know, money is nothing. It is literally nothing. Uh, you don't take it with you where you're going. And, you know, you have to earn your keep in this world. You don't... You know, we don't just get to be born and do nothing. Like, you're here to do something. Um, so, you know, it's time to, like, get a job. It's time to, like, join society. Stop manipulating. Stop playing around with manipulation. Stop um, using, you know, yeah, manipulating the emperor. We have the emperor and the empress. Like, you manipulated the emperor away from their divine counterpart. I mean, it's just gross, to be honest with you. But the thing is, is that, you know, karmics are here also. They, there is an opportunity for you to find your person. Yeah, you, you just, like, literally broke so many hearts. Do you know how many people you're affecting. If there are children involved, you're hurting the children. You are hurting, you hurt the the divine feminine who did nothing to you. Nothing, literally nothing. Um, you hurt the masculine. Uh, you're breaking his heart now by, by, you know, putting them in, you know, 
a third party situation. You know, I, I get that there was a lesson for the masculine to learn here, but it's time for you to release the masculine and move on because this has to stop here. All of this heartbreak has to stop. Um, it's not doing anyone any good at this point, and all it's doing is building up the karmic debt that you're going to owe at the end of this, because it is going to end. Um, spirit is calling for a truce. Spirit is calling uh, for, you know, like, this is like, Spirit's going to step in and take over and force this to end, because that's what's meant to happen duality, uh, many meanings and misunderstanding, right? I mean, it's time, it's time to call it. It's time to find your true love. And that begins, first of all, with loving yourself. You have to love yourself first, Capricorn. If, if you're, you know, whoever this is for, you know, this, I know this is playing out somewhere for someone, but I think that the idea here, that the message here that Spirit's really trying to get out to you um, is that it's, you're in a karmic cycle. And I feel like this karmic person has done this before to other uh, masculines. Um, the masculine may have done this to other feminines. And it's, you know, this cycle is designed to teach both people a lesson um, maybe it was designed to teach the uh, feminine here how to love herself, the, the feminine energy, to stand in her own power and become the empress. Maybe they weren't the empress and now they are. The empress is doing well. They're like taking care of themselves. Um, things are going well in their life. Um, they, they were put through a lot. The, you, the karmic, um, and the, the masculine but your manipulation, um, you caused a lot of damage to a lot of people and now you have to pay the piper and the piper is called spirit and the universe. So, you know, for any, any of you guys out there that you're the karmic in this situation, you know, just know that it's time for you guys to heal. It's time for you guys to let go. It's time for you to find your true love. It's time for you to love yourself and release the person, the, the masculine that you're dealing with. Because I don't know about you, like I wouldn't like knowing that the person I'm with is in love with the person they, their divine feminine who they're not with. And that they're like with you for sex and that's it. They don't, they're not in, involved with you for love. Um, and you're not involved with them for love either because you just want money. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's when you think of it, it, about it, it's really toxic. So that's what I have for Capricorn. That's a lot. I know, but you know, there's an opportunity here to work through that. Um, to bring some closure to it and healing and forgiveness for, you know, for all of it and for every one of you. Um, so you guys take care. I love you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Thanks, Capricorn. Bye.